In this video, we're learning all about what it's like to actually be a structural engineer, the day in the life, do they design buildings, salary information, career paths, and more. And we're starting right now. Hey, 1% Nation, welcome back to the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. So if this is you and you wanna be a great engineer, make sure you hit the bell and subscribe. Guys, who wants to be a structural engineer? Why do you want to do that? Do you want to design buildings? Comment below. Let us know. There's plenty of great stuff in the description below. You can find the 1% Engineer Kit, which is five free ebook. There's also a link to our Discord server. There's 150 engineers in there. It's new. So come on in and join us on Discord. And then finally, the link to the new IG page. We're trying to cross 100 followers. We have over 80. Guys, go like the IGs. It's in the description below. I'm so happy for this video today. A collaboration with Matthew Picardell, a structural engineer who has a YouTube channel channel as well with about 34,000 subscribers. Matt went to undergrad in California, majored in civil engineering, and then went on to get his master's degree in structural engineering. And Matt's been making videos about his career, about a day in the life of a structural engineer. That's a very popular video. Go check that out. And I do get a lot of questions about designing bridges, designing buildings, and what it's like to actually take the typical path for civil engineers, which is structural. And so I'm so happy to feature Matt on the channel. You guys are going to get five questions answered by him a day in a life, what it's like to actually be on the job. Do structural engineers actually design buildings? What are the different career paths and avenues for structural engineers? Structural engineering versus architecture. This is a big one. I get a lot of questions about that. And then finally, a salary question. How much do structural engineers make? So after this video, make sure you go over to Matt's channel and subscribe as well and hit the bell because he's got a bunch of great videos about engineers. And as he's studying for the PE this fall, he's going to be continuing to make more content into the future. So thank you again so much, Matt, for collaborating and coming on the 1% Engineer Show, you rock. Without further ado, guys, let's get right into this video featuring Matt with question number one. What is a day in a structural engineer's career really like? Hey, Jake, thanks so much for having me on. So if I were to summarize my day, it'd be into three things. The first one would be calculations. The second one would be coordination. And the third one would be problem solving. For calculations, it's what you'd expect from uh, structural engineering. You have your free body diagrams, you got your calculations, your hand calculations, and you're also making 3D analysis models. So anything that you're thinking of in terms of calculations, trying to find the building loads, designing structural members. So if I were to estimate, that would probably be one third of my time doing calculations. The second one was coordination. So it's not just calculations for uh, structural engineering. You know, we're working with architects a lot and other disciplines such as uh, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing engineers. So during the design of the building, we're constantly in contact with the architect. We're showing them where our structure is going to go or how the structure is going to work. And then we'll have a back and forth between uh, what the vision is for the building and how mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, how their designs fit into uh, the building design. So that's coordination via emails, phone calls, and maybe even sometimes in-person meetings. And the last third of my time is problem solving. This is kind of miscellaneous, but you know, as an engineer, we are problem solvers. So uh, a lot of this problem solving, this can be out in the field. Maybe they have a problem in the field that they ran into. Maybe the locations of the walls were placed wrong or the anchor bolts were placed wrong. As engineers, these are kind of miscellaneous problems that we'll run into, but we always try to find a solution to those. Problem solving can also go into the management side of things where if we have a project and we have a deadline, do we have enough resources? Great, Matt, thank you so much for that. Question number two is, do structural engineers really design buildings? What does it look like to work with buildings in your career? Yes, structural engineers do design the buildings and engineer them. We design the building to stand up under its own self weight and not fall down during heavy, winds or even during earthquakes. But the truth is during building design, it's not just the architect or the structural engineer. It takes an entire team uh, that consists of the building design team. It's usually the architect, structural engineer, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing engineers. We all have a part and we all have our own designs in order to have the complete building design. So if you were to compare a building to a human body, the architect's role would be to be the visionary. So how that body looks like, what's the color of the skin, what's the color of the hair, what's the function, how big is the building going to be, uh, what shapes is it going to form. But just because you have something on paper doesn't mean that it's going to become reality. You're gonna need uh, the engineers to, to make that vision a reality. So for the structural engineers, 
uh, if we're designing it and comparing it to a human body, you can think of it as the skeletal system, the muscular system. We give that structure the form, the skeleton, in order to be able to support itself. And we design the lateral force resisting systems. You can think of those as the walls and the braces in a building that resist the earthquakes and the heavy wind pressures. So I'd compare that to the muscular system of uh, of the building. So if you push uh, a human body, we're not just gonna fall over, we're gonna use our muscles to hold ourselves up. And we're doing the same thing in terms of buildings. We're designing the systems so they don't fall over during an earthquake or heavy wind. You also have the mechanical engineers. You can think of them as the cardiovascular system of the building. They have ducts going throughout the building, uh, getting good air in and taking bad air out. You also have the electrical engineers in the building. That's where they have all their conduits and and cables going throughout the building. You can think of them as uh, the nervous system, making sure all the information goes throughout the building or the body, so all of its parts are functioning properly. And then you have the plumbing engineers. You can think of them as your circulatory or digestive system. They bring all the good water inside the building and take all the bad water out. Question number three, what are the different career trajectories, paths, options, and avenues for structural engineers? You know, a lot of students think that if you go into structural engineering, you're either going to be designing buildings or bridges, which for the most part is true. That's, I think that's pretty much the mainstream idea if you want to become a structural engineer, but there's so many other career paths that are open to you if you have an education in structural engineering. And depending on your personality, maybe your career goals or your work-life balance, there's different career paths that you could follow that might be better suited for you. So instead of working for a private firm and designing buildings, uh, there's other paths, like for example, instead of doing that, you can work for the government. You might get a city position maybe as a plan checker. Instead of designing the buildings, you get to make sure that the engineers that are designing those buildings, you're making sure that they're designing their buildings correctly according to your city standards and your codes. You're still using this, the structural engineering skills that you've learned, but that type of position, it's typically less hours and you get paid more than in the private industry. You could also work for specialty structural engineers. These are the types of engineers that mainly specialize in one thing. So for example, you might be a, a an engineer that works for a steel trust company and all they do are steel trusses. You're an expert, that's your specialty. So if you're really into uh, one specific material or type of building material, that's a, a great path to get into. You can also get into research and development types of work for structural engineering. For example, there's a lot of trade manufacturing companies uh, such as uh, companies that produce anchor bolts or they produce structural connections. They need to do a lot of testing on those. So if you're more into the research and development side, you can get into their programs where they pretty much let you test things out and, and find data and find capacities and do some real life testing of the products that they're trying to uh, get approval for. And another thing that's come up a little more recently with all the advancement in technology is working for a structural software engineering company. If you have a background in structural engineering or if you've worked in the fields, a lot of these software engineering companies are trying to make software for structural engineers and they need the help, they need the guidance, and it definitely helps if you can code yourself because you'll probably be working with uh, dedicated software engineers that may not have been exposed to the structural engineering industry yet. So you knowing both, especially if you like coding, I think that's a good path to go down and explore. Question number four, big, 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 ding, ding, ding. Structural engineering versus architecture. What's the difference? From my perspective, structural engineering compared to architecture is definitely more math and physics based. You get to learn how materials behave, what they're good at, what they're strong at, and also what they're not good at. And when they are or aren't the right material to use for whatever building you're you're designing. And you'll be using a lot of free body diagrams and strength of materials. So if you enjoy those classes, you're good at those classes, you basically get to use those skills to solve problems and design buildings. And you also get to use a a 3D analysis models, computer models, or finite element models. If you like playing around with that type of stuff, you get to see how buildings are simulated during an earthquake or even uh, during just the, their own self-weight or heavy winds. 
if you like playing around with that type of thing and adjusting the building and the materials so it performs just right, then you get to do that a lot in structural engineering. And for architecture, you know, from my perspective in the structural engineering field, they do get more control of how the building looks like and what its function is going to be. Whether it's a hospital, a high rise, a commercial center, shopping center, or even apartment buildings, the architects get to decide what the function is and how the building is going to look. And you still get to problem solve, but you're using less math and physics. I think as an architect, you're looking more at the bigger picture, how the people are going to be using the buildings, how you can adjust the space, whether that space is a community room or a hotel room. I think you're a lot more focused on how people are going to be using the space and how they move and flow and how the overall aesthetics of the building are gonna be. So you get to solve problems uh, using those types of skills. So if you like solving those types of problems, that's what an architect would be better suited for. Here we go, last question, salary. What is it like What is it like from a salary perspective to be a structural engineer? Let us know about that, Matt. Can engineering make you rich? Well, it won't make you a millionaire overnight, but it definitely gives you enough money that if you use it correctly, and invest it correctly, it can make you rich in the long run. For most people, if you get an engineering job, at least for, for me in California, you're not going to be struggling and worrying about uh, how you're gonna pay rent the next month or living paycheck to paycheck with nothing in your savings. I think if you're reasonable with your money and you're saving it, you'll have uh, plenty as a, as a backup. And you can use that extra money and funds to invest in uh, whatever you're interested in invest in your own business, invest in stocks, or invest in your 401k or Roth IRA, uh, whatever. You can use that money to invest and make you rich in the long run. And in terms of typical structural engineering salaries, you know, based on my research, particularly in California and in the West Coast in the US, if you're looking for an entry position, you're probably gonna expect around 70 to 75K. Uh, if you've been working in the industry for about five years, you can expect around 82 or $85,000. And if you've been working seven to nine years, that's when you can expect uh, around 100K salary. This is based on mostly the private industry, Maybe if you go work for a city or a non-conventional structural engineering career path that I mentioned, those might actually pay uh, higher than that. So compared to doctors, lawyers, investment bankers, or computer and software engineering, it probably doesn't pay as much, but it's by no means a minimum wage job. And if your main goal is to make money and just make a lot of money, then I'm sure there's a lot of different fields that you can get into like the ones I just mentioned. But if you're interested in structural engineering, you like the problem solving, you like the fulfillment of designing something that's gonna be standing for uh, 25 to 50 years and just seeing people use what you've designed and actually being built to scale, if you like that type of fulfillment and making a decent living, then definitely check out structural engineering uh, a little more in depth. Hey, 1% Nation, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that dialogue and those answers by Matthew Picardo. Again, Matt, thank you so much for coming on the channel. If you're a young engineer and you wanna to rise to the top 1% of your career, then make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe. We'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.